Now then, Bill, you're not getting away with that comment. As fine as she is, and as beautiful as the bullies are, they're not the best engines. Sorry, that's down to God's wonderful railway, I beg your pardon. But when it comes to looking engines, was there ever a better looking engine than the rebuilt bullets? They are unbelievable. And as a great Western man and a London North Western man, I came to love these when we started to overhaul uh, the engines at crew. Because up until that, I believed the myth about bullet. That it was all a bit, you know, hairy fairy. Well, my job, other than a fireman, my passion is boilers. And if you want to know what steam engines can really be like, you've got to look at a bullet boiler. They are quite brilliant. I mean, literally brilliant. They had their faults right at the very beginning, but once you put the foundation ring back, what a boiler these are. They are unbelievable. And, and on, the, on the road as to fire them, they find fun. They slip. Not like Great Western Engines, sure fully, they do slip. <laughs> And he wasn't quite sure about the cabs and what he should put round them, but they are beautiful. The team that have done this prove one thing. That if you believe in something strong enough, it will happen. Time is irrelevant. It's what is at the end of time that matters. Now, I had a choice today. In fact, I had a real problem today because right now I should be with the Secretary of State... Uh, for transport, Patrick McLaughlin in Leeds announcing the HS2 route. <laughs> Sorry, we're still building great railways. I know you're not fans down here, but hard luck, come up north. <laughs> railways are still a passion. So he said to me, Why aren't you here? I said, Because this has been built. This has took 30 years. And this was by, built by people that believed. If we believed in modern railways the way these guys believed in 30 years of taking a piece of scrap out of Barry and turning it into a dream, what a country we'd have. We'd be amazing. If we could just bottle what you enthusiasts have done here, nobody would be talking about that we're not a great nation anymore. This proves we're a great nation. This proves we can do anything. And despite what people think, we still do some fantastic engineering in Britain. We are still the innovators. For instance, all the modern trains in the world, the high-speed trains, have got one thing that's British, the brakes. Because all the brakes are built in Britain, they can go as fast as you want, but if you can't stop the buggers, there's no point in going. <laughs> <laughs> so when I was asked as the president of this wonderful railway here to come and do this name, I didn't have a, didn't have a, a second idea of not doing it because I just wanted to do this because not just because it's going to give the railway a great engine, but for the belief of those people that have spent 30 years raising money and bringing this back to this because that's what preservation is about. It's not about how much money and how many tickets we sell. It's about the guys who realised back then that there would be a need for steam traffic. And all the young kids, as a young lad here today, passionate about steam. What would we have lost if we had got nothing left? It would be tragic. It really would be tragic. So I'm going to name this engine and let you get on it because you're all dying to get on the coaches so we can go belting down there. <laughs> I'm on the shovel so we might reach 70. <laughs> I'll have shoveled two tonne, but I don't get to Winchcombe. Right, so this is with great pleasure, this is, I really mean this. I'm going to name this engine P and O. <laughs> That's why people pay fortunes for nameplates. Doesn't that look great? I should just check it when I leave here that that's still on the engine. <laughs> Thanks very much.